good afternoon everybody uh, my name is uh, Johanna Ilunga and um, I am so glad that uh, my friend Gloria invited me to participate in the program that she started this year which is a really good program I, I can say um, so I'm here to um, share my journey as a Christian so this is a uh, my Christian journey and I'm, I'm really glad that I will share with so many people and maybe I, I believe uh, my testimony is going to bless a lot of lives and we're not gonna take too much time I will go straight forward to the questions and uh, the first question was how was was I before I met Christ and uh, so I was born in a normal uh, family uh, Christian family where I used to go to church every Sunday and so basically I just I, I used to pray the God of my family okay i didn't really have a personal relationship with god because uh, my family has good values we we went to church every sunday we prayed together before we went to bed we prayed before eating and i believe a lot of family does that but then um i had to and I, as i said uh, before i met christ i used to be a normal teenager a normal youngster who used to want to do Things that like everybody else wanting to go to club wanting to uh, to date wanting to do so many things that the world does of course there's nothing wrong with dating but then I think as Christian we call it in uh, uh, something else and uh, that was just a, a bracket but then there's so many things that I used to do that I think doesn't align with what the world tells us and I understood that when I gave my life to Christ so um, my life was basically that and then um, even though I met Christ um, after that uh, still it was still a journey I had to change so many things and, and through the, the help of the Holy Spirit I managed to do that so uh, my second question was um, uh, my second question was uh, what is it mean what does it mean to you to be uh, born again um, actually it really means a lot and this alone is what define us as Christian being born again is something very interesting and and powerful I'm going to read as my own understanding There's so many verses in the Bible but I chose few that I can just share to show what it means um, for me personally um, to be uh, uh, born again so I'll read in uh, Acts 2 38 um, it, it says I'll read in the name of the Lord Peter said to them each of you must turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ so that your sin will be forgiven and you'll receive God's gift the Holy Spirit so uh, which I did but I didn't do it straight away i used to go to church i used to sing and stay they would they used to preach gospel to me i used to pray but it it really took some so much from me uh, to give my life to christ i'll tell you why because i went through a lot in my life on a, um emotionally um emotionally um relationship that i had with family and and other friends so i had to it was a time in my life where i had to be kind of alone so that i could trust god and because of that emotional um breakdown that i had I, it really uh it was an advantage for me to draw near to god because i felt like he was the only person that i could talk to and i could trust and and uh, because also i was surrounded with people that were already strong spiritually so they used to advise me give me verses and and then eventually i desired to add to have a strong relationship with god so i i asked god i prayed about it i said god i really have to change my life i don't like the way i'm living i don't like the way i do things i want to experience you I, I want to impact the world and stuff so god did that for me and he came into my life i got baptized and and uh, to me um this is really amazing i would, i would love to ask someone to do the same because since that then i think it was in 2016 when i where I, where when i got baptized even though my whole life i used to go to church but then I discovered that I really had to add my, that personal relationship with God. So um, on top of that, I would like to read this verse that really shows us that um, we live in the world, but we're not from the world. So um, it's in uh, 2 Corinthians 5 uh, verse 7. The Bible says that um, uh, anyone who is joined to Christ is, is a new being. The old is gone, the new has come.
basically we can see that um we were dead with our sins but then because of christ i receive um a new experience it's a lifestyle everything that i say everything that i do uh, in my my the way i live the way i relate to other people i need to control myself and depend totally upon the holy spirit because as we all know the flesh has its own needs and the spirit has its own needs and and the, their needs are contrary they're not the same so i'll carry on with the uh, the next question is uh, how i got saved uh, this is a very uh, simple question uh, it's about the lifestyle i used to be as i said earlier so i got saved i was in cape town in south africa and uh, as i said i used to go to church every single sunday and sometimes even uh, attending to prayer meetings and stuff also attending the youth but then um i got saved by going through challenges in my life i used to pray with people that already knew christ and few brothers that were very strong spiritually and um, because of that desire me uh, sharing certain experience with people and then uh, my brothers and sisters used to encourage me in christ of course used to encourage me when you uh, give your life to christ this is what you're going to benefit like uh, as christian we have a lot of promises that is written in the bible the first one that i can mention is having eternal life uh, when you give your life to christ we are guaranteed to live eternally so um yes uh, i got saved actually in 2016 when i got baptized as i said earlier i used to be a christian i grew up being a christian i sang in the choir but then i had to meet the christ that people preached about the christ that my family introduced me to so i had to have a, f a personal relationship with god where i can speak to god as my friend where i can go and ask god things as my father where i can speak to god as the healer you know the kind of experience that you you have with god on one on one so yes that was basically it and then i think this is the last question which says that what has contributed in building a strong relationship with god here again i'll use experience my life experience also by ex by um, exercising faith okay when you have for example when i'm sick I, rem I recall one day i was sick and then i had to read the bible and i had to exercise my faith by saying god okay i'm not um i believe and i trust you that you're going to heal me because um the the disease that i had it was like a knee problem it was way too expensive for me to go and get treatment at the hospital and i knew it i didn't really have the kind of money that they were asking for so there i had to experience my faith i had to use the bible and stand um with authority and believe that god is going to heal me and he, he did heal me and because of him showing his hand and always responding to my prayer and answering my prayer it kind of grew my trust in god and also um it also helped me grow spiritually and also by reading the bible and fellowshipping with other people brothers and sisters in the christ and asking other people questions about how they overcame a uh, few experience in their lives and stuff so um it's actually a wonderful journey when you give your life to christ you not you not only uh, have the promise of having eternal life but as as being uh, living in in the earth we get to experience so many blessings um uh, breakthroughs because we the bible jesus tells us in the bible that we will have tribulation in the world but then we must take heart we must be courageous because he has overcome the world so already by having christ you know that he's going to take care of all your problems he's always going to be there for you even when you're feeling down even when you are sick even if you need money for your school fees or you need a job god is going to be there to um provide for you so i i hope my video bless you i, I would like also to still thank God, gloria for this wonderful opportunity and i believe that this won't be the last video we'll be making more videos to um uplift the kingdom of god and also to encourage other people that would like to get closer to god and to have a very strong relationship with jesus christ as for me christ is my everything and i will always stand firm and trusting in him no matter what happened so stay blessed stay tuned on our um channel my promise gloria uh, stay blessed and